today we will discuss diabetes mellitus from pathology point of view first of all the diagnostic criteria according to the ada and who presence of any one or more of the following the first one is fasting blood glucose level more than 126 mg per deciliter random plasma glucose level more than 200 mg per deciliter 2 hr postprandial plasma glucose level more than 200 mg per deciliter during ogtt with 75 g of glucose and uh, hb1c level more than 6.5% presence of any one or more of the following is equal to diabetes mellitus now we will discuss the classification of diabetes mellitus if we classify it the two most prominent type of diabetes mellitus are type 1 diabetes mellitus and type 2 diabetes mellitus type 1 could be immune mediated or idiopathic the basic etiology behind type 1 and type 2 diabetes mellitus is behind type 1 is beta cell destruction when the beta cells which produces insulin the pancreatic islet cells as alpha cell beta cells then and other cells the beta cells produces insulin if the beta cell is destroyed there is an absolute deficiency of insulin which happens in type 1 diabetes mellitus and in type 2 there is an insulin resistance and beta cell dysfunction we'll build upon this knowledge only uh there are other types of diabetes mellitus as well the third type of diabetes mellitus we can say is the genetic defect of beta cell function in genetic defect of beta cell function we can have modi mdd neonatal diabetes defect in proinsulin conversion or insulin gene mutation or defect modi is maturity onset diabetes of the young we have modi 1 to modi 5 we will discuss in a while then we have neonatal diabetes neonatal diabetes is because of mutation in kc nj11 and abcc8 then we have mdd it is maternally inherited diabetes and deafness which is because of a mitochondrial dna mutation and defect in proinsulin conversion or an insulin gene mutation now modi modi could be modi 1 modi 2 modi 3 modi 4 and modi 5 it's very easy to remember what all mutations occur in which modi if we see alternate one modi 1 modi 3 and modi 5 there is a mutation of hepatocyte nuclear factor 4 alpha in 1 hepatocyte nuclear factor 1 alpha in modi 3 hepatocyte nuclear factor 1 beta in modi 5 in modi 6 sorry uh, in modi 2 there is mutation of glucokinase glucokinase in uh, modi 4 there is mutation of pdx1 so yes here it is modi maturity onset diabetes of young in modi 1 there is mutation of hnf that is hepatocyte nuclear factor 4 alpha modi 2 mutation of glucokinase modi 3 mutation of hnf 1 alpha modi 4 mutation of pdx1 modi 5 uh, mutation of hepatocyte nuclear factor 1 beta then we have neonatal diabetes i've talked about there was another type that was mdd mdd is maternally inherited diabetes and deafness this mdd is because of mutation in mitochondrial dna so this was the third type the genetic defect of beta cell function now the fourth type as we have genetic defect of beta cell function then we could have genetic defect of insulin action as well there are two types in it one is type a insulin resistance and the another one is lipoatrophic diabetes lipoatrophic diabetes is because of a mutation ppr gamma mutation we will study about this gene ppr gamma in type 2 diabetes mellitus pathogenesis as well
the other causes of diabetes mellitus could be exocrine pancreatic defects which includes chronic pancreatitis fibrocalculus pancreatopathy neoplasias cystic fibrosis or hemochromatosis then there could also be uh, diabetes because of infections like cytomegalovirus infection congenital rubella infection or coxsackie b virus infection then the other causes of diabetes mellitus could be endocrinopathies which include acromegaly hyperthyroidism glucagonoma cushing syndrome or pheochromocytoma then there could be another class of diabetes gestational diabetes mellitus then there could be drugs which can cause diabetes mellitus like glucocorticoid thyroid hormone thiazide phenytoin and nicotinic acid then there could be some genetic disorders which are associated with diabetes like down syndrome turner syndrome klein flinter syndrome or prader willi syndrome so this is all about the classification of diabetes mellitus the diabetes mellitus could be type 1 diabetes mellitus type 2 diabetes mellitus genetic defect of beta cell function genetic defect of insulin action exocrine pancreatic deficiencies or infections or some endocrinopathies or could be gestational diabetes mellitus or could be some drugs or could be genetic disorders associated with diabetes now in very short we will see the action of insulin on three basic organs like skeletal muscle liver and adipose tissue we all know that insulin will decrease the glucose in the body in the blood it will decrease the glucose so at the level of skeletal muscle it will increase the glucose uptake so the glucose in the blood will decrease liver pe it will decrease the gluconeogenesis because it needs to decrease the glucose level and it will increase the glycogen synthesis to decrease the glucose to convert the glucose in the blood to glycogen so it will increase the glycogen synthesis and in adipose tissue it increases the lipogenesis so this is in short the action of insulin on these three organs so uh, we'll continue with the lecture uh, the pathogenesis and the complication of diabetes in the next lecture here in uh, now we are done with uh, the classification the definition and the basic action of insulin for today thank you so much